Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Camilla aka Kami Saving and welcome to this new speed build. This one is a rather long one even though I managed to cut out a ton of stuff and for stuff I mean bathrooms mainly because we all know that bathrooms are not that interesting so when it comes to longer builds I tend to cut them out. Um, so yeah, as you can see we're building something very grand, very big. Um, we are, I think, on a 40 by 30, or maybe it's, it's a 30 by 30 actually, in Saint Maishuno, and we're building a kind of raw, raw, not raw, like a row, a row of townhouses. Um, okay, so um, yeah, we're building four townhouses, uh, one of which has a bar, like a cafe, um, underneath it on the ground floor and three other townhouses like a super uh, fancy one um, normal sort of townhouse and then the last one on the right side is an apartment building with two studio apartments um, I wanted to like make more of them but I didn't want all the houses to be the same height. I wanted to be, I wanted there to be some diversity and some interesting shapes. So I opted for only two stories and two um, studio apartments. So the house on the left will be the first one that we're gonna decorate. So you'll see that it's like I could totally live there. It's very industrial with a lot of exposed brick. Um, a lot of very industrial windows too. I used mainly the Moschino ones. I think I only used Moschino windows. And then I combined everything with that like staircase from Get to Work, which is very industrial. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's like the perfect adjective for this kind of house and I don't know any synonyms. So yeah, you're gonna get me talking about industrial all the video probably um the second one is a kind of victorian inspired townhouse like it's very grand it's very fancy it's for a rich family it has like four stories or something like that the last story so the attic is like a storage space um so it's not a very functional one um but yeah it's very grand it's very for a very wealthy family and then the third one is actually mainly on two floors um the ground floor it's kind of an entrance floor and there's kind of an office and a mudroom so and the entrance and the fourth building is also kind of industrial it's a bit more toned down um compared to the first one here um, but it's also very interesting with a lot of bricks and I also got the chance to play around with the platforms So this is the first build that I'm um, Presenting to you guys in which I worked with platforms and I had I don't know fun It was a bit tricky at first and my game is kind of glitching like mad lately because I think my computer is like done I think that he knows because my computer is a is a he uh, he knows that my new PC is going to arrive this week so it's gonna it's like okay I'm done here I'm not gonna work for you anymore and so he doesn't work mm, basically so yeah and as you can see I did not um, put all the houses like attached to one another I left some space between the houses except for the last two on the right side because I wanted to be uh, some like small um, I don't know how you say it actually I probably know the word but it doesn't I can't like remember it right now like some very narrow streets um, between two buildings like between the first and the second and between the second and the third one um, the last two are attached as I said um, yeah and I think it's it's kind of cool because it's not like the same it's not I wanted to be I wanted this to be very varied because I tend to get bored easily and something very unexpected that happened with this build here is that I didn't 
get bored after a while but I like stayed strong kind of and pushed through and finished decorating everything which is something that I tend to not do if that makes sense so I attempted building this kind of very big build multiple times but I always like get bored of it like I tried to build an apartment building I probably tried building like four apartment buildings in my sims uh, experience and I always get bored of it so this time was a first but I was so like set on the idea of building some townhouses like for real this time because I also tried building many times like townhouses many times and it didn't like I didn't last I get bored I got bored and like gave up and this time was different so I was very happy about it and also I tried to to leave some space behind the townhouses to create some sort of communal area you'll see that I create a sort of square like a very green um, corner a very green um, side I don't know nook it's not a nook but it's like a small green area with also like a sort of marketplace nearby and I think it's pretty nice i think it's cool and for game gameplay purposes you could totally live here and like rent the other townhouses to some roommates if you want you could live here with your family in the second townhouse which is the lux luxurious one and it's also like evidently for a family like four roommates wouldn't necessarily fit there very well and you could rent the other three townhouses to someone else and, or you could come here as a community lot, as if it was a community lot and so many people would like use the spaces and go around here. Otherwise the bar would always be empty and also the the town, the townhouse, no, like the square area, sorry, behind it would be a bit like empty and without people there so it would be weird and also i'm sorry i realized later that i repeated a ton of furniture like this dresser here and also the bed i repeated them sometimes because i built this um huge thing in many sessions let's say so at least three or four sessions um and i forgot which items i used in the other townhouses so you will see that these two items in particular are like very mm, present on this lot here. I use them a lot, so I'm sorry because I tend to not use the same items in like um, builds, like in two builds in a row or something like this. And so this time I kind of failed at it, but it's kind of a huge build, so I think it's okay. You will tell me if it's okay. Um, I hope it. Uh, I hope it is. So, and also I wanted to say that as I told you some minutes ago, my PC is arriving, and I'm so happy because I can't work with my PC uh, with my laptop anymore. I call it PC, PC, but it's actually a laptop. Um, I don't know, but in Italian you tend to say like PC also for laptops. If at least I do that. So. But anyway, I have a laptop and it's very old and very like slow to you and I can't not only for the Sims but also for uni it's very like hard to work on it because it's beginning to be very frustrating to use it. Um yeah, it's kind of a miracle if I can run OBS and the Sims at the same time. But all of this is to say that I will begin streaming on Twitch, I think. Like, as soon as I figure out why, N not why, <laughs> oh my god, as soon as I figure out how, I know why I wanted to stream. Okay, yeah, that was a very unfortunate choice of words. But yeah, I want to figure out how to stream and I will stream over on Twitch. So if in the meantime you're interested in, I don't know, watching me play The Sims over there, you can follow me. I'm Kami Simming over there too obviously i'm coming seeming everywhere i'm also on twitter on tumblr and on instagram but i'm active i'm really active only on twitter i think um instagram and tumblr are like the two 
less loved kids of mine. I love Twitter and I'm over there like if you want to reach me out you probably should on Twitter because I will probably see your message or your tags um, more quickly, quicklier, I don't know. But anyway, I talked over um, the first townhouse and we are in the second one. As you can see, it's very grand. It's It has also like a formal living room here next to the entrance and it's very fancy, I think. But also the color scheme, it's very bright. It's very clear, not clear. I always tend to say clear, but it's not. Like the colors are, are very, very light, very pastely, and there's a lot of beige going on and also light blue. And I don't know, it's very calm, it's very cute also. And you see that upstairs we have a more informal uh, living space with a TV, a kid's bedroom and a bathroom. And on the third floor we have the master bedroom, the bath, um, another bathroom and another bedroom, like another kid's bedroom. I'm sorry, I like my tongue is getting <laughs> twisted here. Um, it's kind of hard lately to speak English for me. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, so and on the fourth floor, as I told you before, like earlier, there is some storage. It's like only for looks, basically. But it's I think it's pretty nice. I think it's something that you would totally find, like a very dusty attic in a house like this one. So it was fun to build, to build it and to furnish it. Um, yeah, so, and I tried to cut out basically every bathroom, as you can see or not see, because I cut them out. Um, so, yeah, because it was, like, a very long video, and I'm not used to such long videos. It's only 26 minutes, actually, because I sped up everything nine times instead of eight. I usually speed up my videos by eight times, like, yeah, and in the beginning, like, the whole... Uh, building of the townhouses is sped up like 10 times so it's even quicker quick clear quick clear more quickly quick clear okay um let's move on um yeah so i managed to have a 26 minutes video and not like a 35 one so it's pretty it's like um, a success if you ask me and yeah, I'm so happy with this build, I think it's so fun, and I don't know, I like it, and it's very odd for me, because as I told you, like, earlier, I don't stick to bigger builds, I usually give, give up, so it's it's kind of nice, like, knowing that I stick, stick around until the end of this video, and of this build in general, and also the video, of course, now. So, yeah, um, if you want, I can, like, tell you how it's going, because I started working some days ago, I started teaching German to kids in an elementary school, it's only, like, substitute teaching, so I'm not an actual teacher, but I'm, I kind of am, uh, for now, so, yeah, it's going pretty well, I think, it, it's harder than I thought, actually, no, I, I did, think it was gonna be this hard because kids are not easy to like to keep calm i guess um it's very hard to uh keep their focus on you and not on something else it's very hard to not let them like go crazy and start talking about st unrelated stuff um also since i'm not their actual teacher and i'm a substitute teacher um, probably they see me like a very dummy person who's here and who's not actually their teacher so they can do whatever whatever they want but I'm not because I'm I probably gonna stay there for a couple of weeks so I cannot just say to them that they can play or that they can do other stuff because we have some things to do and some lessons to to go on with so it's not so easy, I can't just let them play and do their stuff. So it's gonna be very challenging, it also was very challenging this vi this week. Um, I was so tired at the end of every day, I was very tired. I, I like got to bed, I went to bed like at 10, 11 p.m. for the first time in months 
because I had to wake up at 7.30 in the, mor in the morning and it was kind of good. I'm not gonna lie, I like having a routine, I like having plans for the day. Um, it's also very good for my mental health. I realized that I'm, I feel very good when I, had so I have something to do and I also um, make my day more productive when I know that for X for some hours I'm gonna be outside I'm gonna be not at home I like make the best out of the time that I spend at home if I have to do some work for uni or something else for YouTube for example so yeah it's been good also for my mental health so I'm very sad uh, I'm already sad thinking about when I will be like done with them and when the teacher that I'm substituting will come back, I'm, I know it, it will be like weird because I love having like a routine. So it's been good so far. It's been very difficult, a bit hard and also challenging as I told you, but it's been worth it, I guess. Um, I'm very happy about what I'm doing there and I'm happy about like knowing how to behave in a classroom, um, how to deal with, with kids because I also imagine myself to be like a high school teacher or a middle school teacher. So yeah, it's a bit different when you have such young kids to take care of. They are very also needy, not in a negative way, of course, but they are so young. So they need you to tell them what to do like every second. Um, so it's very different. It's a first for me. It's a very positive experience so far also the other teachers are very kind it's very it's a very nice environment i didn't expect it um usually in schools there are a lot of like negative vibes um maybe like among teachers i'm saying like many teachers maybe a kind of um, i don't know how to say it are like in a, not not fighting but they have some sort of rivalry between them or among them and so it's it can be negative like a negative environment but this case in this case it's a very positive one so i'm very happy to be working there and of course i'm going to be earning some money for the first time in my life um like for real so it's going to be good i like i'm so excited about it not because of the money itself but what about what it means like it means that i worked hard for many hours a week and i get rewarded for it and i think it's gonna be so so great so good i i'm happy to be there i'm happy to work there and i'm also happy about the experience that i'm having there and yeah i'm sorry i think it's got too cheesy here but i wanted to talk up to you about it because it's something that it's making my daily life more exciting and i have more things to talk about on friday i scolded some kids for the first time and it was very exciting it was very good i was so powerful i felt so powerful um because they deserved it of course they behaved very badly they insulted each other in a very um awful way um so i had to intervene and i scolded them and i was a pro at it they listened to me and they like i think they got what i said to them i hope um but yeah not gonna lie i felt very powerful and i'm so happy about it because it, just the day before i was very bad at keeping the class like together like calm and um nicely behaved if I can say it like that. So it was a very nice feeling to finally be able to keep it together. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so, and also I think that we are basically done with furnishing the houses. So now we're gonna decorate with a lot of debug stuff, the kind of street area and the back area that I was talking to you about with all the, um, the marketplace and the square. I also put down a statue like with a sort of sign in front of it. Like if it was actually like a statue like you can go there and look at the name of the person there. And yeah, and we also have to decorate the 
lounge deal slash cafe. So I think it's a cafe. Um, yeah, so and after this voiceover, I'm gonna go take a shower and prepare for tomorrow. I have to schedule like to decide what I'm gonna do with the classes tomorrow, especially the like um, older kids. They need like an actual class, actual not like just games and songs. They have to like learn stuff and do stuff. So I'm gonna see what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, I think that we are gonna like just revise what they already done because yeah I don't think that we go will go too far ahead like to I don't know what I'm talking about anymore I'm just my brain my brain is a mess right now um, I'm trying to stay focused on the video while also talking about something completely unrelated so I'm gonna like say something very stupid and I probably just did so I'm sorry about this but you can see that I'm kind of playing with platform also here in the cafe but what I was saying is that um, I kind of forgot but yeah I think that we won't go like very far with the program um, I'm just gonna help them understand better what they already done for now and then we'll see I also have like, um, I don't know how you say it in English, like I have the meetings with the parents next week and it's gonna be so weird because I'm not gonna do them. I've been here for a week, I don't even remember all the names of the kids, so I don't think I will do those meetings. I'm just gonna sit there with the other teachers to see how this thing is done and if I want to add something about a specific kid I can do that without actually like spending 10 minutes talking about someone that I don't know because I wouldn't even know what to say um, because yeah maybe I know the names but I don't know anything about them I just barely know what they did at school like in the other lessons with the actual teacher so it would have been weird so also the like my the main teacher that I ask all my questions to um, said to me that I don't have to do them because it doesn't make sense also for th for her and for everyone it doesn't make sense that I do these meetings so I won't and that's a great n that's great news for me because I was very stressful about it because I read on the calendar that we were supposed to have these meetings next week and I was like but what am I gonna talk about I don't even know them I don't even know what who, who are we talking about, so yeah, it was gonna be so weird. Um, but yeah, I basically finished all my topics here, um, and of course I began rambling, but it's something that you should be like um, used to by now if you've been following me, following me for a while now. Here is the little marketplace, it's very cute, I use some decals on the ground and I think it's very cute, very colorful and very festive also, kind of. Festive, I don't know if it's related to Christmas, actually. Hmm, I don't know, but yeah, it's very like cheerful, maybe let's put it like that. And then you'll see me stro scrolling through the debug menu like forever and ever and yeah finding things, finding stuff to put there, it was very fun, I have to admit. Debug, it's like, it's a world full of treasures that only wait for you to find, to find them, to be found, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say something very smart and it turned out something very dumb, but okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I found out a very, like, a huge amount of stuff. Uh, to, to say it like in a gentle way without swearing it's mm, there's a lot of stuff there um yeah and i also tried to do this like um door that's been closed off with some um wooden planks i wanted to use the tool mod but my computer like my game wouldn't even start wouldn't even open so i had to Take the mod out. I'm sorry. I'm sure that it would have been would have been like cooler if I used the tool mod and I wanted to, but yeah, that didn't work. So I'm sorry. 
um but anyway i think that i'm gonna leave you here because we are pretty much done with everything i hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it would mean the word for me if you subscribed or even just if you liked this video if you did like it of course um yeah so i will see you all in my next video and i hope you're having a great day bye everybody